Hello, my name is Lewis Kidd, and this is my 5 through 12 health enhancement practicum presentation. Um, today I'll be giving you a little look into my uh, website that I created um, that gathered all the information that uh, I used to complete this class and to complete my practicum. Uh, so I, ta I taught at Sacagawea Middle School. Um, it was right by campus, about seven minutes away. And it worked out perfectly because being an athlete, um, it worked right around my schedule where I could go in after workouts in the afternoon and uh, observe and teach uh, at that time. So I'll click here and a little bit about Sac Julia. Um, so this page includes my school biography, uh, which is kind of a get to know your school thing that you fill out. And then uh, my observation assignment. The observation assignment is your initial observation on the first day of, uh, that you observe. And you just are kind of doing an overall intake of um, what the class is, how it's taught, um, observing different students, all that stuff. Um, and we'll go over to lesson plans. So I had the chance to co-teach a few lesson plans. Um, there's one in here that I did not get the chance to teach due to the COVID. And then this also includes my unit plan slash scope and sequence. Um, so I was able to co-teach Cotton Eye Joe, which was kind of weird. I've never taught a dance lesson before, but um, I had a lot of fun with it. And I think the kids really enjoyed it. Um, it was a co-taught lesson, like I said, and um, it went pretty well. Um, I was also able to teach a fitness day. Um, this was a lesson that I was able to teach by myself and I really had a lot of fun with it. Um, I was able to kind of take my passion for fitness and weight training and stuff and kind of implement that. And they had a great space, um, and a great area to work with, um, that allowed me to do this lesson plan. Uh, ultimate basketball, which is... Um, exactly like it sounds, pretty much like Ultimate Frisbee, um, but it doesn't require you to shoot. Um, is a lesson that I found on uh, PE Central, and I thought it was just an awesome lesson that could be implemented in a basketball lesson plan that I would have loved to gotten the chance to teach. Um, and then finally, my unit plan, which also goes along with um, my weight room training stuff. Uh, I wanted to kind of revolve my lesson or my unit plan around that as well and uh, it's basically just kind of an insight on uh, how it is to write a whole unit plan uh, which can be scary sometimes and then this page also includes my scope and sequence which I used for um, my instruction design class uh, next we'll head over and click on the tabs up here pretty easily accessible to anyone and I've also published this and made it public to anyone who wants to view it and wants to see it. Um, I've got my uh, brochure which is just kind of made up information about the school that I would hope someday I could teach at something similar and kind of added some things that I thought would be relevant. And then my newsletter which was pretty much about um, how things have changed with COVID-19 and the coronavirus and basically ways to stay safe, some fact and fiction, and then basically um, just going over that and getting information out about that because I feel it's important as health enhancement teachers to be on top of stuff like that. And then go over to our reflections. Um, I was in the school for four weeks, so I completed four reflections. Uh, they can be seen here. And then there is a reflection paper about the last, uh, I can't think, the last few weeks of school where we were able to uh, video conference call with teachers and kind of get new insight. And there's a reflection about that as well. I've got my assessments, two formative, one summative, um, and some reflections with them. Uh, that can be seen on this page and then my philosophy and final reflection about the overall course um, and my overall experience uh, on this page 
And overall, I think that I had a really great time at Sacagawea and I was a little bit nervous when we first signed up for it because I really thought I wanted to go right to high school and get the chance to teach high school. But, um, you know, I had a lot of fun. The kids were great. My cooperating teachers were awesome. I had uh, Miss Fa Mrs. Fabian, who was the PE and uh, math teacher, and then also Mrs. Holly Walker, who um, was just the uh, PE teacher. And they both co-taught uh, the sixth grade classes, so that's what I mostly um, observed. And I was able to um, see a lot of things in the few short weeks that I was there. But um, I think I learned a lot. And I think it was kind of awesome to see the laid back style and kind of relaxed style of the two, my two cooperating teachers. Um, I mean, they answered all my questions. If I had any, they talked to me about, you know, grad school and advice for when applying to different student teaching stuff and all that, all those good things that um, I've still had questions on. Um, and other than that, I mean, overall, was, like I said, it was a great experience and I really enjoyed it. And I am really looking forward to uh, student teaching this coming spring. So uh, thank mm -hmm. you for watching. And like I said, this website will be accessible to anyone. So thank you.